Welcome, everyone, to the Insomnus Experiment. This is based, apparently, off of the creepypasta of the Russian sleep experiment. It's not really something that I'm familiar with, but if you're familiar with it, then this is probably going to be a game for you. Yeah, this is just another horror game for me, though, and it looked cool, and I, I just wanted to try it. I want to get spooked. Nothing really gets me spooked anymore except for horror games. Inspired by the Russian sleep experiment creepypasta, Russian researchers in the late 1940s kept five people awake for 15 days using an experimental gas-based stimulant. Interesting. Oh, am I one of those people? Ooh. Or maybe I'm one of the doctors. I don't know. I kind of want to see what's going on. Oh, there's nothing going on behind this curtain. Uh... Ooh, something happened to someone's ribs. Did someone's ribs get broken? That's a ugly ass face right there. That's disgusting. Don't show your skull to me. That's very inappropriate. What's going on down this hallway? Bro, don't do this shit to me this early. Come on. Yeah, don't do the... Oh, this shit to me. Don't do that to me this early. I, I still have to explore. I've got to figure this out. I have no sprint button. I'm trying shift, but it's not doing a damn thing. Oh, well, at least they got them some nice little cots to lay on and, you know, relax and, you know, do their thing. Damn, something happened to all their ribs. Oh. We have the doctor. For 15 days, breathing that gas. Awake. That would be miserable to sit there for 15 days and just be wide awake. Just twisted wide awake. Like, oh my god. I feel for him. That's a scary thing to have to deal with. I wouldn't want to deal with that. But apparently I'm experiencing it. Is this what I was supposed to do? Was I supposed to walk back this way? I just needed to get that message across. Uh, I think something went awry here. What do you think you're doing? You're going to watch the content over here and not even think about subscribing? Oh, that hurts my feelings. Get to subscribing. We're almost to a thousand subscribers. So get to subscribing today and that'll be one more subscriber that I need to get more subscribers. Just subscribe, just subscribe to the channel, please. Sorry about that, had to let my dog out. All right, let's continue. That's just gonna be so much extra crap to have to cut out now. After five days without sleep, the paranoia started to kick in. The test subjects stopped talking to each other. They whispered to us. What did they whisper? Did they whisper sweet nothings into your ear? Well, what did they say? You must tell me. Don't leave me in suspense like this. I, I want to know what they said. I think the Russian language is a very interesting language. Russian and Ukrainian languages are... I, I, don't, I don't know. They're just interesting, in my opinion. I want to know what they said. Just like, ah! That's probably what they said, because they've been awake for 15 days, and so they don't know English. Or they don't know any language anymore, except for just moaning and groaning. They got turned into zombies. Where am I going to end up? Good lord. I have been going through trenches and shit. My god. Oh, here's another thing. Tell me more. After nine days, one test subject started screaming until his vocal cords broke. Then another one did the same. God damn. And then the screaming stopped. As well as the whispers. 
Jesus Christ, I could just imagine them going insane. Okay, well, at least we know that uh, they're not going to be saying much to us. Oh God, dude, now my throat's sore just thinking about that, just breaking your vocal cords because you don't really know what else to say. You're just in agony from not sleeping. Jesus, it's so crazy that sleeping makes our brains act in certain ways like that. And just because you don't have the rest that your brain needs, then you just go clinically insane. It's weird. It's weird how our brain works. I don't know. I think it's interesting. All right, finally made it to the door. I don't want to go near the bars. I'm I'm afraid if I go near the bars, he's just gonna like jump over there and be like, "Hey, I'm talking to you." Oh my god, get away from that weirdo! I don't want to talk to him. <laughs> I'm not in the mood to talk to some dude who's in jail, just talking to himself, saying that we're all going to die. After three more days, we couldn't see what was inside the room. The test subjects weren't making any sounds either, but. We knew they were inside, according to how much oxygen was being consumed. Well, yeah, if you scream so hard that your vocal cords break, how in the hell do you expect them to make any noise, you dumbass? Their vocal cords broke. Also, why are they not speaking? Oh, dude, that's the goddamn light. Oh, I thought that was a pair of eyeballs that just decided to jump out and scare me. No, it's the light. I saw that from the first room. Uh, which way? Is is this the right way? Well, this way is blocked off, so I'm assuming so, and I can't turn that. Alright, I guess we're just going to go down this hallway right here. I think that's a door right there, but I'm going to go down this hallway first. I don't really think I want to be anywhere in this area at all. I wish that I would have not even walked in here in the first place. But guess what? Here we are. Nurse. The doctor announced that they will open the chamber to test the microphone. That the people inside need to get on the ground or they will be shot. Then we heard a whisper. We no longer want to be freed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, gas is coming out. Am I dying? Am I going to die? Oh, Jesus Christ. Dude, just... That is so eerie. Oh, my God. Alright, they don't want to be freed. Oh, oh, hello. What the hell? Oh, okay, I'm using left shift to run, but I'm not running very far. Oh, what? The test subject had his abdominal organs removed. The, the doctor was cutting and trying to place the organs back. They were not people anymore. They ate their own flesh, ripped their own organs out. Oh, Jesus I Christ. Oh my god, there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Oh no, oh shit. Now I really don't know where to go. He was right there in the door, I think I was about to die. Are you motor motorboating something? Like, what the hell? Dude, I don't know how to escape this thing. I'm surprised I'm even walking around in the dark as well as I am. I can't see a goddamn thing. Am I supposed to just run through him? I feel like I would die. I don't know where else to go though. Am I supposed to just run right into the dude? Okay, okay, yeah, you can you can remain awake. 
Bro, why are you taking this out on me? You could do whatever you want. This is your home. You can you can have the free reign to be a, as awake as you want. Just don't get me involved. That that's that's my only request. I just don't want to be involved. Oh no. Oh no, dude. He he's going to show up. He's going to show up right there. He's going to be right in front of my face. Why is it prompting me to get out? No, I don't want to get out. I don't want to get out, bro. I want to stay in the. I want to stay in the locker. So easily. We are you. We are the madness that lurks within you all. Begging to be free at every moment in your deepest. Dude, this is. This is. <laughs> Oh my god, I've got schizophrenia, apparently. Okay, I want to get back in the locker. I don't want to be anywhere else in this room. Okay, I can't get back in the locker. That sucks ass. I don't want to be anywhere else in this area. Oh no. You <laughs> That's what I've been waiting for. Thank you. Oh, man. These itch.io games are great. Go check out Insomnus Experiment. Play it for yourself. Play it with headphones. It's even better. Thanks for watching. Go check it out. Go check out the creator, and uh, bye.